Don Draper resists telling people about his past as Dick Whitman, but no matter his name, he wouldn't be able to resist this delicious twist on deviled eggs. Keep an eye out for our secret ingredient. Let's talk about deviled eggs, shall so, we? So, deviled eggs, first of all, how devilishly handsome is John Hamm? Oh my god, first of all. to die for! Second of all, it's called deviled because devil refers to it being sort of spiced. Usually deviled eggs full of mayo. Not so great for you also, I think it's kind of icky. So we have put a California twist on this deviled Plus egg. Plus eggs and eggs. Eggs and What's up with that? I don't know. Who needs an egg and an egg? California twist. Avocado. No, they're not paying us to say this, we just love them. So how do we do it? I wanna learn. Okay, first thing we're going to do is split open the eggs and I will have you put the yolks in a bowl. Do I use a spoon or my fingers? Fingers. Ah! Don't you know me by now? <laughs> All we're gonna do is sort of mix the yolks as we're going. And first we're gonna start off with some lemon juice. Just start smashing. Ooh, can I smash? Y yes, here's your smash spoon. Ah! That'll be the avocado spoon. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the mustard. French's mustard because... Oh, here! The, I'm so excited about this. This so, was the popular mustard of the 60s. Da -da -da -da. This is an ad from a magazine in the 60s showing deviled eggs at a party. We have it for two reasons. Number one, to show you French's mustard and how cute the ads were. Number two, this is part of our decoration for our cocktail party tonight. It's a super easy, cheap way to decorate. Go find old life magazines or good housekeeping magazines at a thrift store and cut out the cute ads, put them in a cheap frame, and voila, you are the queen of decorating. The next thing we're gonna do <laughs> is add our herbs, if you wanna grab onto those. Okay. We have a half a teaspoon of tarragon and a tablespoon of chives. Give it some freshness, some color, a little variation. A pinch of salt. Okay. Then we're going to add our California twist. Mister avocado. Half of an avocado. You want one that's nice and ripe. Unfortunately, oftentimes ripe and spotty uh, go <laughs> hand in hand. It means it's still good to eat though, yeah. right? It's still delicious. So then you smash it all together? Smash it all up. I'll smash with you. Smash it. smashing spoon. Once we have all this mixed together, we're going to add some olive oil. Ooh. That's what's gonna loosen it up so it's easy to pipe. So once you're finished smashing, what's next? We're going to add our second kick, Mr. Tabasco. Kick. Depending on how spicy you want, we're gonna do three dashes, but you can do <laughs> as many dashes as you like. I like how you dash. <laughs> it's more of a thrust. Exactly. So we don't want it to be super spicy, just really nicely balanced. Here at Cinnamon Spice, we love Ziploc <laughs> Ziploc bags! bags. So we want to pipe the yolk into the egg white, but we don't have fancy piping bags. You know it works just as well, Mr. Ziploc. And I'll let Juliana do this because this is the kind of thing oh, she yeah? is much better at than I am. Cut a little hole in the tip, sneep, and then you kind of want to scoot it all to the end and have at it. And you can play around with it, you'll get better at it, you'll feel it out, you know. Beautiful! And then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of paprika on top, give it some color. Beautiful. Cheers. To Mad Men. Our favorite TV. Oh my god. Really good. Really fresh. These taste just like normal deviled eggs. I've been eating them since I was little. Oh. healthy. But they don't have any mayo in them. Oh. So good. So, what do you want to see us make next? Impress your guests with a new recipe. 